Hey, Rant Adventures 2.0, where are we at and what are we doing? Well, we're still at our last camp. So if you watched this thumbnail right here, uh, then you know where we're at. If you don't, didn't or don't know where we're at, well, we're in Arizona still. All right, well, we're traveling from Arizona back to Pennsylvania, so we got to get back on the road and uh, start heading to New Mexico. All right, so... Let's cue that intro music. There it is. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Okay, we're on Route 260, heading towards Albuquerque. Well, I've got Albuquerque in the in the uh, GPS, but I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way there. All right, well, let's see how this day goes. I'll bring you back uh, when we're doing something next. All right, here we go. Well, we made it to uh, <laughs> Interstate 40, or just right before it. So I'm in a little town uh, called Holbrook. I stopped at the Safeway, got some eggs and some cheese, stuck them in the refrigerator. Uh, but I wanted to stop here because this is uh, actually Route 66. So it's a historic spot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's an old Studebaker right there. All right, but where are we at? <laughs> I wanted to show you this. This is the Wigwam Motel. Uh, have you slept in a wigwam lately? <laughs> I just walk over to the office. It looks like it's closed. I did see, well, there's a sign right here for hours. Oh, open at 3 p.m. Okay, so we're early. <laughs> All right. Well, and it looks like right here on the window, <laughs> they got channel stickers of people that have visited the wigwam. Very cool. Oh, I'm going to have to get a channel sticker and stick it right on here. Oh, if I can find some room. Oh, maybe we'll put it right under the Route 66 MAGA. Okay, there's our channel sticker. It says, sorry, we're closed. However, they are cleaning the rooms. So I'm going to go take a walk and uh, see if I can get into one of the rooms, but also look at a couple of these cars. Yeah, that Studebaker is just cool. So I've seen this on videos in the past and it was also popular with the uh, movie Cars, if you can remember that as well. Oh, that's interesting. Of the very few 90 degree turns on Highway 66, the one in Holbrook was the last to survive. So you can see there it says, you are here. So coming down Hopi Drive, get to the intersection of Navajo Boulevard and then make a 90 degree turn. Uh, there's Toe Matters Grand Pappy from uh, Cars. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, he's seen his better days, but what a piece of equipment that is. Uh, they've got old cars parked in front of every single one of these. I'm not exactly sure how many there are. And yeah, they got old Buicks. If you're a car enthusiast, I'm going to say this is probably a good place to come to check them all out. Yeah, a lot of them have license plates on them as well. This one's a, this one's a 1956 Buick Special. Oh, look at the old hood ornament. It's sitting out front of wigwam number six. Is this a Studebaker here? You can see a white one. Here's a Galaxy 500 Ford Cadillac. Very nice. Oh, look at this blue Impala. Oh, that's a cool looking car. It's the only way that I know what kind of car it is is because it says it on it. I'm not a, I'm not very good at old cars, but 
it's a good thing they all say what they are on there. Okay, I was just told that number 11, they just cleaned it and it's unlocked. So let's go in. Oh, very nice. So it doesn't go all the way up. You can see the ceiling ends right there, but it is a wigwam. It's all contoured around on the inside. It's got a TV. This one has two beds. Now, I just asked about how much it is, and they said with two beds, it's 110 per night, and with just one bed, it's $100 a night. We got a bathroom in here, and then a quick spin around. We got a little desk with a mirror over there in the corner. Uh, we got to adjust the light. There you go. It's got an air conditioner, a bedside lamp, and that's what they look like inside. Oh, that's so cool. Turn the light off. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah, that's number 11. So there's a total of 15 uh, here. So there's five on the ends and then five across the back and then five up the side. Oh, unless you count the two on the ends that are part of the ones up the side, then there's four on each side and uh, <laughs> the rest in the middle, seven. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's keep checking these out. There's an old VW bug that was converted into a camper. What? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is something else. And then they painted the shape of the old VW bug on it, on the front, and then also on the back. <laughs> Number 13's got an old cutlass. And then look at this. Unit here, I don't know what it is, I'm gonna have to look. Uh, it doesn't have any windows. Oh, yeah. The only thing I saw on it was it said Hudson. So there was a license plate on the back that said Doc Hudson. Okay, I was wrong. This is number 15, and there's one more over there. But each one of them has a sitting area right outside. So that's the last one right over there. That's number 16. And, oh, look at that Falcon, Ford Falcon sitting there. Oh, let me read this sign. Okay, uh, dear Mr. Paul Lewis. So it's the pleasure uh, that the Wigwam Village listed on the National Register of Historic Places in May 2nd, 2002. Really cool. So, yep, the National Register coordinator, Christine, actually sent them a letter, and that's a copy of it. So that's the Arizona State Parks. Oh, look at this falcon. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So right down that way is the center of town. So Route 66 right there, and Last 90 degree turn left on Route 66 uh, as a historic place. I don't know. Did you ever stay here? Put it in the comments. All right, we got to get back in the car and get on the road. I'm dilly dallying. I don't know what we're doing tonight, where we're staying, or even if we'll make it all the way to Albuquerque. I put it in the GPS Albuquerque. That's where we're aiming for. I don't know if we keep stopping, we're never gonna get there. All right, let's get back in the car. Oh, look at all the petrified wood. Oh, so Petrified National uh, Forest is just out that way a little ways. Yeah, I stopped there last year, pretty cool. Okay, well, that was awesome. So <laughs> I gotta get moving. All right, I'll talk to you at the next stop. If there is one, we'll see ya. I'm at the New Mexico, Arizona border. We're heading uh, east. <laughs> I got off the road because I was in traffic for hours. So they were paving the road and there was a long stretch back that way. I pulled over here, I saw this on the way out the other week and I wanted to stop in here, uh, but 
right, we're going to say goodbye to Arizona. <laughs> I don't know where we're going yet today. I don't even know if we're going to find any place to camp, but maybe a truck stop. So this video might be more than one day. Yeah, but we're hours away from Albuquerque. <laughs> but I just stretching my legs, went in here because I couldn't get off the exits anywhere because of all the traffic and yeah, it was rough. All right, well, I'm getting back in the car and gonna keep it going. Uh, where are we going? I don't know, <laughs> stay tuned. All right, this is not where I'm staying, but I just did stop at a Maverick. Man, I love the Maverick stores. So we're just outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. In fact, <laughs> we're gonna be going through the town here in a little bit, uh, but I'm not gonna stay here. Uh, I was going to try to stay at a Love's truck stop, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. When we came across the Arizona-New um, Mexico border, we gained, uh, no, we lost an hour. So I stopped here to go to the bathroom. It's already 6.30, 6.40. So we're going to get back in the car, keep driving. Uh, like I said, I don't know how this video is going to be. It might be a couple days <laughs> worth of a video, but... We'll sleep somewhere tonight. I'll show you that when we get there, when we figure it out. All right. <laughs> so where am I at now? <laughs> oh, look at that, McDonald's. All right, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I'm carnivore. I've been carnivore for uh, six months now. And McDonald's, when you're traveling, is a great place to continue carnivore. So I've been driving, we got out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're still in New Mexico. I'm looking for a place to go. I just got off here in Santa Rosa, but I'm getting hungry. I haven't eaten since this morning, which I had a couple pepperoni and cheese. So let me show you what I got. So I got the tailgate up the light and I'm having two quarter pounder patties with one piece of cheese. So it's 9.48 right now and I still feel good. <laughs> so at Mavericks, I got another cup of coffee and uh, I'm gonna eat this burger. Like I said, I still don't know where we're gonna stay tonight. I thought there would be a Love's truck stop a little closer or even a Cracker Barrel, but the next Cracker Barrel is two hours and 55 minutes away. Cracker Barrels are a great place to stay. I don't know, like I said, I'm gonna let you know where I end up. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll just keep on continuing. All right, but I am um, in Santa Rosa. Uh, I did get off the one exit, which is the old Route 66 still, so we're following that all the way down. But we're getting back on 40 right after I eat this. Double quarter pounder and cheese, yum. Oh, by the way, that's about, mm, that was $7 for that and it fills you up. I always ask them not to put any lettuce. Some, some places will put a bed of lettuce down too. All right, well, let me get this eaten and get on the road. Okay, we finally pulled over for the night. Where are we at? Uh, let me show you. We made it to a Love's truck stop. So I went in there and used the facilities. And you can see we got some cars parked here, some campers some vans, some cars, <laughs> and subi doos right there. All right, well, it is 11.29 at night, and I am going to crawl into the back here and go to sleep. I'm not gonna talk to you, I'll just talk to you when I wake up, because I got some stuff to do, like doing a little bit of editing. All right, see you in the morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> so sleeping at the uh, Love's truck stop last night. Uh, nothing better. <laughs> so thank you, Love's truck stop. That was a good rest. All right. Well, I made myself a cup of coffee here real quick. So we're going to get back on the road. And I think we're going to head down to the Amarillo. We're going to, that's the next stop on the agenda. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Oh, it's windy. <laughs> I'm standing out here in a big field. Why am I doing that? Well, I want to pull over and show you something. Well, guess what? We're in Amarillo, Texas. We're at a place called Cadillac Ranch. So when you come in, way down there at the other end, there's a trailer and that trailer sells paint, sells refreshments, all kinds of stuff. And you can get a spray paint can for $7.50. I don't think so, because <laughs> there's a lot of cans laying around here uh, that you could probably pick one up and paint something on it. So Cadillac Ranch in 1974, someone planted all these Cadillacs, hoping they'd grow. They only planted one and then they became a whole bunch of them. <laughs> no, they planted all of them all at once. So they buried them in the ground all the way up to the uh, windshield. Well, actually the windshield's in there a little bit too. So yeah, they are just all lined up here. What a great roadside attraction here in Amarillo, Texas. So you can see there all down through here. Now, when you stop here, like I said, you can buy a can of spray paint and do your art. Now they actually sell jewelry back at that little trailer uh, that you can purchase made from the paint chips of the Cadillac Ranch. Oh, you know what? I think I might get Lisa, Miss 2.0, a pair of earrings. <laughs> Yeah. So they've got every inch of these cars payment, painted, even the undercarriage. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Just so much paint <laughs> right there. Oh, just hanging there. So it is actually uh, windy <laughs> right now. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, even uh, millet. I think that's millet or uh, some type of plant. There, they even got that sprayed. All right, so what are we doing next? <laughs> I still don't know. There is one place that I want to check out over here, and we'll figure out what we're going to do, but I don't even know if they're going to be open yet. Uh, we'll see if they're open. Oh, what did I get? <laughs> I got Miss 2.0, a pair of Cadillac Ranch earrings. <laughs> so this is made from the paint chips of the Cadillac Ranch, so it's an official. Oh, uh, she likes cowboy boots. And I like her in cowboy boots. All right, so I got to put that away. All right, let's get down the road. All right, we're still in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, where are we at? <laughs> Let me show you. The big Texan, world famous steaks. Yes, everything is bigger in Texas. And if you can eat steak challenge in one hour, it's free. <laughs> uh, as you guys know, I'm carnivore, but I can't do a 72 ouncer. Especially because you got to eat a bunch of stuff. I was here last year, I believe, in March. And uh, what do I tell you what the world record is and who said it? <laughs> You'll never guess. All right, the world's famous 72 ounce free steak. You got to eat that within one hour, but not just the 72 ounce steak. You also got to eat the salad, the roll, baked potato, and three shrimp. So there was a showdown <laughs> in April 19th, 2015. So who won? Uh, you'll never guess. And the amount of time that it took this person to eat this I can't even get my fork, knife, and spoon out of the napkin. So set the world record. The winner was Molly uh, Shulier. <laughs> she weighed 125 pounds. There's her picture. And she got $5,000. And she ate it in 4 minutes and 18 seconds. Second place, 7 minutes and 29 seconds. Third place, eight minutes and eight, 13 seconds. Ah, uh, look at that. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> That's just incredible. Yeah, so they've got a gift shop here. As soon as you walk in on the one side, lots of stuff all back through there. They got a shooting gallery, gelato, fudge. 
cakes, cupcakes, stuff I don't eat no more. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I already asked. They don't sell the steak by themselves, but they said it'd be the same price without the sides. So I said, well, maybe I'll donate my sides to someone else. <laughs> I just want the steak. It's a little dark in here, but I'm going to go with the uh, ribeye. And I'm going with this 12 ounce one there, the Fort Worth cut. So I told them no sides. So when I came here last year, I just filmed it and left. And I was thinking, man, I should have ate a steak there. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'll be filling up on that too. Grassland butter. Yum. There's the steaks being grilled up right now. Oh, that is cool. Oh, my mouth is watering. Okie dokie, there you have it, our steak. So this is a ribeye boneless, first bite. Oh, look at that steak. I got it medium rare, just the way I like it. Very good, thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna eat this steak and then get on out of here. Uh, we got some driving to do yet. Still don't know where we're staying tonight. Now that was a good steak. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. I, I figured I'd walk up here so I can get a picture from the balcony. Yeah, let me walk over to the railing. So I was seating right down below us. Yeah, you can sit up here or down at one of the tables or booths around the edge. I think it's time we go ahead and get on out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm definitely full, that's for sure. I might sit down on one of them benches. <laughs> I'm going to get back in the car. Whew. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't eat really anything yesterday, so I was saving it up for this. Very good. Oh, I could eat another one <laughs> later. <laughs> All right, well, let's get back on 40. I got to figure out what we're doing. All right, we'll see you at Big Texan. Maybe on the next time around, I'll get a bigger steak. <laughs> Hey, today's Thursday, and when I crossed over from New Mexico into Texas, it went from 4.30 to 5.30. Well, an hour jumped. And I just realized that as I'm driving across Texas, got to the last exit, which is the town of Shamrock. Uh, and it's like 5.19. I pull in here. I run in and grab a cup of coffee because I just realized I've got a video premiering in, oh, 10 minutes. So I am going to go ahead and premiere in the video, do the comments, and then we'll get back on the road. All right. Well, uh, let me answer these comments. All right, it's 6.35. We just ended our premiere video. So I want to thank everybody for jumping on that. And if you didn't see it, oh, maybe I got a thumbnail here. <laughs> okay, well, we got to still find a place to sleep. All right, <laughs> well, I'm going to start driving again. Okay, we're in Oklahoma. <laughs> that didn't take long. Uh, but I pulled over at an exit. A uh, little bit into there because I saw the sun going down and wanted to catch it a little bit. Let you see that. Oh, it's almost all the way down. But I've been passing a ton of cows. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, you look good. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a cool sunset. Cars running good. Oh, I love the sunset. Just getting ready to go down. All right. Well, I am going to keep driving that away. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know there is a Walmart that is probably an hour away yet, 
but I'd love to do a Cracker Barrel. I know I'll get a chance to do Cracker Barrels more a little closer to the East Coast, but I, every time I see them, it's too early in the day. I usually don't like to roll in there until later, but, well, <laughs> it's definitely going to be a car camp, <laughs> right? Because I got the car, <laughs> right? Oh, well. All right. Well, I am drinking lots of water and coffee, and I feel good. It's still early. It's a little after 7. Uh, see you, son. See you tomorrow. All right. Well, like I said, I feel good. I'm just going to keep driving. So I will bring it back probably once we find some, which might not be until late tonight, <laughs> maybe 10, 11, or maybe earlier. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, look at that. <laughs> I found one. <laughs> Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I did. So I am parked out front right now. It's 10, 18. Uh, they closed at 10 o'clock. Uh, but I stopped out the road to get a cup of coffee and use the bathroom at a Love's truck stop. Didn't feel real safe there. Um, it was a smaller Love's truck stop, uh, and I wanted to find a Cracker Barrel. So I'm parked out front right now. Usually what you do is you pull around back, but I wanted to film this real quick before I pull around back because all the lights are off, and I thought it would be good to film the front of it and show you where we're going to be. So they're in there cleaning up right now. <laughs> so we're in Oklahoma. <laughs> so we went past Oklahoma City, kept driving, and I wanted to get outside of Oklahoma City. Um, so I kept going until I saw this. So this town is, uh, I believe, Shawnee, Oklahoma. Uh, so this will be great. 40's right there. You can see all the cars racing down 40. So we're just off of 40. So we'll go ahead and crawl in the back a little bit later. Got to do some editing right now. And then I'll talk to you when I'm in the car for tonight. Well, we just climbed into the back of the car. It is one o'clock in the morning. It's 53 degrees or 59 degrees. And it's supposed to get down to 52 tonight. So I got to close the hatch. I drove around to the back of Cracker Barrel. Uh, I decided to pull back out front and back up to the curb with the Cracker Barrel right over there. So it's no problem. They usually say sleep in the back or wherever the RVs go. There was It was pretty crowded back there, so I thought I'd just come out here because I knew I was going to be up kind of late doing my editing. Well, for now, we got our old light, old bulb, and we're going to say lights out. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Lights out. Well, good morning. <laughs> yep, Cracker Barrels are filling up. Uh, I'm putting my uh, top quilt back in the uh, stuff sack. Let's get going. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to go in and get some bacon <laughs> and eggs before I get on the road. Uh, I'll think about it while I'm getting out of the car. <laughs> Unlock. Open. You know, one thing I gotta do, I gotta go in there and use their restroom. Interstate 40's uh, humming this morning. Oh, get the hatch closed. All right, I'm gonna get in there and I'll be right back out. Alrighty, so thank you very much, Cracker Barrel, for the great night's sleep and the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> All right, well, we got a lot of driving to do today, so I'm not sure what I'm going to film on the way. Kind of like the last two days. All right, well, I will see you in a little while, maybe like right now.
All right, so we are here at uh, Love's Gas Station. Oh, I'm turning around see it. All right, so we just stopped the gas. So when I left the Cracker Barrel earlier, I said, I'm not driving on 40. <laughs> it's just jockeying back and forth. I want to see more of Oklahoma, so I decided to head up, hit historic Route 66. <laughs> and I've just been enjoying all the towns up through here, but I want to make some time today. So back in the car, we're heading north and then east. All right, well, see you on the next one. Well, in about 10 miles, I'll be outside of Oklahoma into another state, but <laughs> it is around lunchtime. As you guys know, I'm carnivore. Oh, uh, look what I found. And I just saw these guys standing <laughs> along the road. Uh, well, I saw it's Tate uh, Cattle Ranch. Yeah. Hey, hamburger, ribeye, T-bone. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> They're backing up. Uh, I can tell I'm hungry. Oh, I better not say that too loud. All right, well, get back in the Subaru and head out. This is a huge ranch, though. Uh, Tate Ranch. Um, yeah, right before we get into the next state. Mmm, yum. <laughs> okay, back in the car. So we're in Springfield, Missouri. So we went through the little bit of bottom of Kansas. I just stopped here to get gas. Well, where's here? We're at Bucky's. Hey, Bucky! Big five already! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in and use the restroom. All right, I just asked about brisket and I can get a whole pound of brisket without sauce, so I'm gonna grab that while I'm here. All right. Oh, they got brisket on the board. So what are the chances of me being at Bucky's and a very, very good friend of mine's coming up the road? Dave, my friend, called me and said, hey, do you realize that you're only a couple miles away from uh, Zane who's moving out here? So I just went to the restroom, got my food. He's grabbing a drink, but uh, <laughs> that is so cool. Perfect. I'll introduce you to him here in a minute. All right, we're back at the car. There's my brisket. And uh, I was saying about meeting my Christian brother, Zane. All right, so say, say hi to Zane. And Zane does the uh, 2.0. Can we get a 2.0? 2.0. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's moving out to Arizona. So he's a truck driver. His Peterbilt, uh, Peterbilt? Yeah. Yes. Peterbilt, yeah. His Peterbilt flatbed's up there. He's got half of it filled with your stuff moving yeah. out there, is Yeah, over half, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> my car and everything on Oh, there, nice. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to hang out for a little bit. I'll see you guys on the road. Say bye to Zane. We'll see you. All right. <laughs> see ya. All right, well, while we're talking, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Here's that brisket. I don't know if it's focusing on it because I can't see the screen. <laughs> All right. First bite. Oh, that's good. Hey, Bucky, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, so we are 60 miles away from St. Louis. <laughs> what? <laughs> St. Louis, Missouri. I stopped at a rest stop. Sun's going down behind me right there. All right, well, we're going to use the facility and get back on the road. I'm going to drive quite a bit yet today. Uh, I'll let you know where we end up. All right, here we go. Alrighty, so we are, believe it or not, in <laughs> outside of Indianapolis, Indiana, at not a Love's truck stop, but when I was talking to Zane earlier, I asked him, I said, what, what truck stops do you stop at? And I said, do you stop at Love's? He says, no, I always stop at Pilot. So I just came here because I need gas, uh, so I'm going to get gas, but before I got gas, I had to use the restroom so i go in there and i'm using the restroom and i come out and there's a worker here that goes are you tony and i said yeah tony rare adventures 2.0 he says yeah yeah i follow you so stan is his name he works at this pilot and he goes hey you gonna spend the night here tonight and i said oh i was thinking about it he says absolutely you can that'd be awesome so i'm at this pilot I got to get gas, then I'm going to get set up to go to bed. But I told him, I said, oh, let me bring you a 
channel sticker in. I said, you want to be in my video? He says, no, I'm camera shy. <laughs> so, so it is 1256 right now. Oh, 1256. <laughs> and uh, so we've been driving for a long time. I'm going to go ahead and fill up tonight, uh, get it all topped off. So every time I stop for gas, I just stop and I always get to a half a tank and then fill up. I think only we went 847 miles. So we went past St. Louis, uh, didn't want to stay anywhere near there, <laughs> busy. Uh, I got stuck in Indian, Indianapolis. Um, <laughs> the GPS took me one way and I ended up going down into Indianapolis and I got stuck down there for about a half an hour because they were doing road construction on 65 to all the ramps to get back up on there to come out uh, anyhow well let me get pumpkin gas and uh, I'll talk to you right before I climb into bed uh, get the hatch all closed up so we're climbed in the back here I was just talking to Stan I went in there again to give him his uh, channel stickers and he comes up. I was getting a cup of coffee, thought I'd get a cup of coffee because I like drinking it cold. So it's sitting up there for the morning. He goes, hey, your coffee's on the house. And he said, and he handed me this and he goes, and some coffee. I know you like coffee. <laughs> so Stan, thank you very much. It's been an, a great ending to the day. So I'm a hundred or an hour, almost two hours away from Dayton, Ohio. If you uh, have been following along, you know uh, my son moved out to Dayton, Ohio. Uh, he took a job, uh, left the Space Force and uh, got a job at an Air Force base there in Dayton. So I'm gonna stop by and see him uh, for tomorrow, overnight, and then I'll drive home. So if you're following along, you know I do a Sunday Night Live every Sunday, so this coming Sunday night at 8 p.m. will be live. So I will see you then. I'm going to go ahead and close this video now. I'm not going to show you the drive tomorrow. I think we did enough for this video. So all we got to do yet is cue the music. Ah, there it is. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, it even works in this Subi doo <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. And if you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. And uh, yeah, it's been a great couple days. We've stayed at quite a few places. If you like this kind of stuff, think about hitting that uh, like button. It really helps with the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, go ahead and do me a blessing and hit the subscribe button. And if you never want to miss one of our camping videos, our uh, hammock camping videos, our stealth camping videos, or just a random adventure, go ahead and hit that notification bell right there. And, well, we will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot for coming along. And, all right, well, Tony, 2.0, out. Oh, I can't disappear because I'm in the car. <laughs> All right. Well, it's late and I've had a great time. So got to turn the fairy lights off. Oh, fairy lights go off, off, turn off. Oh, there you go. And then our O-light O-bulb. So now it's lights out. See you on the next one. Good night.